Hi, this is Bill for SparkyChannel.com. This is my new Kohler sink and Kohler pull-down faucet. And this is my Kohler Duo strainer. It's a really rugged, heavy-duty strainer. It is more expensive than other models of strainers, but it is much, much better. It installs better, it lasts longer, it looks better, it works better. I'm going to show you how to install it. Because this sink installation is part of a kitchen remodel, I had the opportunity to work on it outside on the patio. In this way, you don't have to crawl underneath the sink and be uncomfortable. You can just be outside, be comfortable. This is the Kohler Duo Strainer. This particular one is made of brass and finished with chrome. However, it comes in several different finishes to meet your decor. This strainer, that's why it's called a duo strainer, it's got an on and off position and it seals the water tightly. To uh, work on it, you take off the mounting nut. This is called a mounting nut that I'm taking off right now. And then underneath that is a steel washer and underneath that is a rubber gasket. The first thing we're going to do is work on sealing the strainer to the sink. This is plumber's putty and you take it between your hands and roll it and make it into a cigar shape. And then once you got it rolled out, you take it and put it around the lip of the duo strainer. Just uh, put it all the way around like that. Make sure it uh, meets at the end. And now we're just going to put that into the sink. When I put it into the sink, I'm going to put it with the word Kohler showing so that you could read it while you're washing the dishes and so forth. Now take the strainer and press it into the sink. You'll notice that some of the plumber's putty oozes out around the perimeter of the strainer. Uh, this is fine. It's what you want. And you want to get it centered in the hole as well as possible. Now take the rubber gasket and put it over the strainer. Next, after the gasket, is the steel washer. Next, after the steel washer, is the mounting nut. The mounting nut uh, screws on in a clockwise manner. Then, tighten the mounting nut down as far as you can by hand. There's no need to use tools to uh, continue to tighten this down. But do tighten it down as snug as you can by hand, taking care to keep the strainer in the middle of the hole. Now take the three provided screws and tighten them into the mounting nut. This is what really uh, creates the seal uh, onto the sink. That's why you didn't have to uh, tighten the mounting nut on with any tools. So you put all three of the screws in and you start tightening them down with a number two Phillips and you go round and round so that you don't uh, completely tighten any one screw at the same time but you uh, go round and round so that it will provide equal pressure on the sink as you tighten the screws. Now you can see that the plumber's putty has really oozed out around the strainer. This is what you want. If you see that you know you're getting a good seal. So now what you do is Go around and clean it up uh, real nice and then we're, we're ready to install it in the sink. Here is the finished product installed in the kitchen and ready for use. In addition to the polished chrome strainer you see here, it also comes in stainless steel, polished brass, brushed bronze, brushed nickel, oil rubbed bronze, vibrant modern brushed gold, and vibrant polished nickel. So whatever your decor is, you should be able to find one to match it. I'll put a link in my video description for this strainer and the link will guide you to all the different finishes that it comes with. Also I'll put a link for the beautiful stainless steel Kohler sink and the stainless steel Kohler pull-down faucet. Thank you! I hope this video was of help!